Hello and welcome everyone to Nickel City X-Wing. My name is Greg and we have got two big games for you tonight. Game one features Johnny versus Azagal. It is Resistance versus Scum and Villainy. This is going to be played under full 2.5 rules. We'll go down the list after the first turn. Greer, the first move. Five forward for Greer. A focus. <clears throat> Boba Fett. And a boost. And Nim. Takes a focus. Go over to the A-Wing Fives. Johnny Crockett making his return. There is the boost from Lulo. Tally gonna two hard boost. And ZZ five straight. Does ZZ want some of this? And we go in back to dials. As we go back to dials, let's check out Johnny Prockett's list. It is ZZ slow with heroic starboard slash proton rockets, advanced optics. Tally Lintra with heroic proton rocket, proton rockets, and advanced optics. Lulo Lampar with heroic starboard slash and advanced optics, and Greer Sonal with heroic starboard slash proton rockets, advanced optics. And on the other side is the longest freaking upgrade list you ever did see. It's Boba Fett in the fire spray with fearless jamming beam, ion missiles, proximity mines, proton bombs. Babu Frick, Shield Upgrade, A Blade of Plating, and the Andrasta title. And then it's Captain Nim with Expert Handling, Ion Cannon Turret, Dengar, Proton Bombs, Seismic Charges, Shield Upgrade, Havoc, Trajectory Simulator, and R4B11. Oh, let me, uh, I'm gonna open betting. Betting is open. Get it in. Get it in now. I, I didn't have it open before, so if you got it in, you need to do it again. I completely forgot about it. Oh, it says that, that many upgrades hurts him. Ezekiel stands behind this list. Him says, give me nickels, Greg. Give everyone a hundred nickels just to make sure you got something to bet. Should have that now. Colfax immediately gambles his hundred. What can I say except you're welcome? Yep, there are a bunch of new redeems. New year, new redeems. Totally on purpose, definitely not an accident. A valid question. We know nothing about their language, their history, or what they look like. But we can assume this. They stand for everything we don't stand for. I like that one a lot, to be honest. That one's more expensive, though, because it's, like, super long. Too busy living life to be learning five dollar words. <laughs> Hot damn! Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. And the road roll. I think Lou has the initiative. This one. This is. Full 2.5 rules. This camera's getting all... A big, or a, for some reason, I, it's not smooth. I don't know why. It was smooth the first time. There is 
a focus boost for Lulo. Tally is just gonna stay out of it. It's easy, the three hard. I assume this is focus boost time. Yeah, I think you boost if you can bump Boba, it's pretty good. Great shot, kid, that was one in a million. Wait, turn the bot off for a second and restart it. And restart it. Yeah, okay, shut it down. Try betting now if you haven't. Ooh, okay. So bet rules. Take a take a thing here. So I don't have to roll. And that is a damage onto Nim. Lulo into Nim. Three dice because stress. Ends for two. And Nim takes both. BZ has a proc it into Nim. And Johnny Crockett making good. Four hits and a crit. And it's all going into Nim. And it's a direct. Because of course it is. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Easy gets to take a focus again for oh, Easy's ability. So Dengar Gunner will trigger. So ZZ takes a focus, and now we'll have to decide whether to give the focus or roll for a get Dengar focus damage. And that is a damage on to ZZ from Dengar. This is going to be primary into ZZ, 4v3. Easy does have the focus for a defense. Oof. Can't do anything with that. Oba. Gonna go into Lulo. It's one reroll. Ends for two. Lulo three of eights. So no other way to put it except that was bad, bad, bad for 
Azagal. We're going back to Dials, but that rocket from ZZ. Taking Nim. Nim was full health. Second round of the match. This is, this is the second round. And Nim's already down to two after a little bit. Well, I guess it was a pretty big shot from Lulo. And Great then shot, Kim, that was one in a million. Selbrook gets it. Selbrook gets it. Here's a roll from Johnny. I two eyes and a hit. So, Bru, happy new year, bud. Hope Canada is treating you right. That goes to Azagal. Again, these are full 2.5 rules, so Azagal will take the initiative this turn. Let's see if we get any bombs. Nim is dropping a proton bomb. All COVID and lockdown means is more time for you to spend with me. And Boba is dropping a thing, and it goes. And Boba will take, he purposely bumps and takes the focus. And that puts the strain for Nim and an Ion. Since he cleared all the way through can still do an action so he's got all the actions in his toolbox he's not ionized just yet he only rolled a hit if he rolled a crit would have taken three ions and we'll just go ahead and focus Pally still not in this fight hasn't really needed to be easy five forward that should starboard slash Boba. But if ZZ were to not, or were to starboard slash, since Boba has that back arc, she would take a strain as well. So I think she might choose not to. ZZ is going to barrel roll. And we'll link that to a rotate. Oh, and Lulo. Three banks. She, she could, or he could barrel roll. It does fit. Deciding what to do now. Boost or stress. Let's go, Ando. That's what I'm talking about. 
Bomb catches Lulo and Boba. And Boba uses an ablative plating. And he's going to send the other proton off and use ablative. So ablative plating charges off. Boba now, first shot. Well, only shot. It's going to go into Lulo, of course. It's going to be 3v3. Boba has the mods. Lulo doesn't. Hey, hit crit coming in to Lulo. Lulo. One, two evades. Easy. As range three obstructed to Nim. Yeah, dank. They're super dankless. These are the definition of dankless. These are the dankest lists of all. And it's going to take this pot shot at Nim. Might as well. This is 2v2 because of the strain. DZ doesn't have any mods. Gets a crit in. And the roll. One evade. And rear into Boba now. 2v3. For two. And Boba evades. Boba's going to need to do a ton of heavy lifting here. to see the 1080 stream, Mando. Excited to watch you in clarity. And justice. Today's stream, of course, brought to you by the letter F. That's an F for you. No Man's Sky just finished downloading. I like No Man's Sky, but it's kind of boring. Like it's it's got a little bit of uh, the grindy situation that uh, Elite Dangerous has, where it's like really cool and it's pretty, but then like like ah, uh, guess I'm just farming all the time. I wish you could customize the ships. I wish Elite had that as well. We roll Johnny with a crit. And that is an insurmountable lead. Johnny will be moving first. Like, we won't get any bombs. Rear, two forwards. Focus boost. Hello. Three banks. Focus boost. It's easy. A three bank as well. And then he's just trying to get spacing because of the bank rules. And ZZ will rotate. Prepare for next turn. And Tally is going to 5k. Tally just did not wanting to do anything in this game. Too hard here for him who will barrel roll. Hey, Greg, just dropped the sexy Kylo Glitterstam ASMR hold out cards. Yes, we are. Speaking of cards, we're going to be giving away four of them tonight, two after each game. 
I've got a double-sided OB-1 with the 7B and CLT built in, one on each side from Rogue Outpost, a GSP Galactic Championship Backdraft, a Lego Suntier Fell, and a Hondo Onaka First Order card. Oh my god, Ando. Yes, that is exactly, exactly what I'm saying. Yes, I will show off the Hondo card. Just give me... Let's wait for the shooting here, and then we'll uh, show that off. So, this is... Boba into Greer for hit crit. Greer. Choo-choo! Greer evades. Good job, Greer. We're taking the shot into Boba back to V3. Four spends for two. Boba will take one. There goes the shield upgrade. And that is the only shot, it appears. We're going back to dials, and as we go back to dials, let me show off these cards that you can win. Here is the Hondo. Yes. Focus. There it is. Hondo. This is the OB1. It is double sided, so 7B baked in on that side. CLT baked in on this side. This is really cool. I love this card. This is a GSP Galactic Championship Backdraft. I feel like when I get the camera focused, it's directly in the light. Sorry about that. And a Lego Suntier Fell. We'll be giving away these cards. Money does have points. 41 point lead. Asgall really needs to fly to well now. Five dollar words. Hot <laughs> damn. Community. Droid says he loves the BD, but you know. Where I come from stands for oh, not backdraft. You know here, says Selbert. I think that was specifically to Dan, but you know, whatever. In my head, can all X Wing pilots have mustaches and all tie pilots have goatees? That is great head cannon. That's perfect head cannon, Buddha. Comes the road off. Ooh, right there. And that will stay with Johnny. Opa will drop a proton bomb. You love bombs. Ooh, Greer, I don't think you can get out of that proton. 
focus. And looks like a boost coming as well. Tries it, can't. A little surprised that didn't clear. He dialed that in wrong. I think they're gonna let him redo it. the barrel roll. Lulo, 5-4. Lulo has literally not even been within range 6 of this fight. Easy, 5-4. Nim, three banking. Nim tried the left roll, won't go. Oba is going to Talon roll. I don't see that every day. If he uses Babu Frick here. And gives the stress to Babu. And will focus as he's not stressed. Rear takes damage. Nim, of course, holds the seismic. All right, so Boba gonna get a shot onto Greer. Oh wait, that is in range. That is a turret shot. So this is an ion cannon, three v three. Kingdom for focus. Oh, damage goes through. Half points. Welcome to the scoreboard, Azagal. Okay. All right, we're going to talk about this. This is a clever play here. Okay. So Here's what happened there. Let, let Boba shoot. We'll let the shots go and we'll talk about what happened there. This is Boba on Greer. This is super interesting play by Azagal that I've never actually seen happen. And to evade, man, can't sneak in the damage. We are now 2v2 back. It crits. Boba takes another shield. Okay, so here is what happened. Greer was stressed, rolled all blanks, but Greer has heroic. 
So what Azagal did, and again, I don't know why. Actually, when I think about it, it makes no sense because it's a reroll either way. I think Azagal thought it was all the dice and not any number of dice. But to avoid a full heroic, Azagal used a charge from R4 B11 to take his stress away. And then that only let him reroll two dice, which would have been clever if heroic made you reroll all dice and not any number of dice. But alas, so he just either way he got a reroll and actually kind of got a stress removal out of it. But you know. It's actually anticlimactic now that I'm thinking about it the way heroic reads. But it would have been really cool. Azagal just having real trouble sneaking in points on these aliens. He's got a shield down on three of them. Tally is healthy because Tally hasn't been in range three of another ship. There's the road roll. That's a crit for Johnny. And a crit, the crit hit for Johnny goes first. System phase and a seismic charge launch here. That is on. To be clear, that's a seismic you launched, right? Not a proton? Or is that a proton? Wabu loses a charge, so Fett's taking a stress in two turns. Kelly, barrel roll boost. I think that's probably pretty good for her. It's easy five forward. And a straight boost, perhaps? Exactly, because you can't reroll dice multiple times. So if it had said reroll all your dice, you wouldn't have been able to do it. Which would have been stupid clever and awesome. Ulo. Ulo is going to barrel roll to try to get that block onto Boba. Ooh, and a boost. Never mind. Gonna try and kill Nim. So Nim might die this turn. Ooh. Thanks. Fizzle, thank you so much. 18 months. Happy New Year to you and yours, sir. Hope you have a great one. So the cloud blows up, doesn't hit anybody. Nim will, of course, hold the other bomb. Tally gonna get her first shot of the game. 2v2 here. 2-2. Two, two. two hits. And Nim blanks and is dead.
Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Nim. Engage. Three V two. Ion cannon. And. Ends of stress to make him re-roll. Still gets the evade. So Nim dies with a whimper. A little disappointed in Nim's performance there, but what can you do? 3v... I guess 3 now on... Uh, Lulo here. Could go into Greer, but Greer has a focus. This is in the Greer, four dice. Bobo will get Bobo re-roll. And three hits and a crit coming in the Greer. Greer will spend for two, take hit crit. Needs a direct. That crit is panicked. Not what you're looking. Life ain't easy when you eat a full procket. You're not wrong. And now, this does this prox mine hit, guys? Does this prox mine hit? That's the question I have for you right now. Oba's gonna drop the prox because you have to. You have to try to get it. Is it long enough to take it? Epionic says yes. But he said yes in Spanish, so he can't be held accountable. Delroot says we, oui, which is French for yes. Obo, relatively healthy, has lost two shields. I mean, several A-Wings are hurt, but there's no... Only Greer can be initiative killed. Isn't Boba Fett Spanish? No. He's Maori. I hope the overlay has made the ships a little bit more readable. Three hits for Johnny in the road roll. And a crit focus. Here it is. This is the Prox Mine hit. It does. Oh, it hits it by a lot. That is one on Lulo, and Lulo will roll two. Looking for the double doink. Oh, takes a crit. That crit is a hull breach. That's a blank skis. All right. Johnny's. Or Greer moves first. Last, bo last Babu Frick charge has been spent. Hulo. Five forward. Just boost. Ellie, two cards. Barrel roll. The A has a squiggle over it. Oh, okay. okay. I didn't post something. What are you talking about? Oh, well, we'll go one straight. And we'll reach out for a lock. 
We'll attempt to kill Greer. But we will have to choose what rock to kill here. Nim can't hold it any longer. And looks like it's going to take the rock to the rightmost. That keeps the most rocks between him. 3v4 with a target lock here for Oba. Natties! Hit, crit, crit. Greer needs a lot of events. One, two, three! That's what he needs! And the droid is not on Boba, so that is safe. That is the round. When does Babu come into play? Before you would gain a non-lock red or orange token, you may spend one charge to place it on during the system phase. Okay, so the system phase, that stress should come on to Boba. The green's really coming through there for Johnny. Boba would have loved to get an A-wing off the board there. System phase, the stress comes. Babu, and the road roll goes to Azadol. Here, there's a second focus. Well, one straight clears the focus and will reload a proton bomb. Reload provided by the Andrasa title. Alley, three banking, and a boost. Easy, and a boost. Here come the A-Wings. You're going back to dial. Thirty-one minutes left, an eighty-one to forty-nine point lead for Johnny. Boba Fett's hanging tough, but only so much one ship can do. Probably pretty good. Is there anything? Do the do the Y wings have turrets? Azagal with the crit, so Azagal moves first. Rear first to move. Too hard. Do we get a focus boost here? Gonna barrel roll. Boba, this is gonna focus. Tally, five straight, and this is a procket shot all day. Focus boost into the procket. Easy.
Do you focus boosts as well? Yep. Lulo. Ooh, Lulo. Skirting that rock. And we'll just boost. Boba. I think shoot a tally. Tally can spend her charge. Let's give herself an extra die. Boba rolls two hits. Tally gets that extra. And it pays off. Two evades. ZZ, 2v2, into Boba. And optics for a hit crit. Boba takes one on the shield. Tally now. Crockett time. And pretty good. Converts for four. Boba Natties takes two. Those are the shields on Boba. Twenty-eight minutes left. Nothing more sad than a white woman without shirt. I kind of agree there. They just can't hit without the turret. The Iron Turret is just so expensive for these. No, Hawk without Moldy Crow is still good because they can focus rotate every turn. But their time on attack is incredible. Three blanks into three blanks. That's just impressive. I feel like that's just like a good time. Three banks and three banks. That really gives you something to blame the loss on. Here's the road roll. Two crits and an eyeball. And that goes to Johnny. And Boba is going to drop the proton. Ellie. Too hard. Boost, rotate, looks like. Here is just gonna boost. Easy will too hard, and I think this will be a focus rotate. Hurts on the A-Wing, so good. Who's out? Lulu want to lower her dice here. Yes, yes she does. Focus boost. Boba tries the three bank, but catches. And we'll take the red focus. Proton bomb not catching anything this time. Easy. Range two. 2v2. Boba has two rerolls here. And Easy will spend. One Natty evades. Ali. Range one. 3v2. One. Boba evades. I think you only get two here. Yeah, but range zero. 
Yeah, but range zero. Can't add, can't modify. They said, they said you can't add or take away dice. I mean, listen, man, I don't have the answers. I'm just going off what they said on the one stream they told us was going on. I, if, listen, if I had great answers for you, I would. Okay, so... I don't... I do not know. Okay, so here, here's the thing. If you were on offense, you'd be adding the die to yourself at a range zero attack, and I don't think you can do that. Again, and when I say I don't think, I'm literally just basing this off of what they said on stream. This is not me, like, interjecting my thoughts. Uh, so if it was my thoughts, we wouldn't even be having this discussion. This, these wouldn't be shots. Uh, but since you're defending here, if he's not the one adding or subtracting from you. Right. Epionic says 2v2 Lulo attack and 3v3 Boba is right. You can't you can't do anything with that so it just one hit and they did great doesn't matter and i'll move on with our life in this stupid range zero okay can i ask you epionic why would it be 3v3 for boba to shoot since boba's not the one modifying the die on the the range zero shot there because i would rule that like it's 2v2 wedge doesn't trigger like ship ability shouldn't trigger on the offense but on defense i don't see why you wouldn't be penalized it's not the other ship modifying you or adding or subtracting and again we're, just, we're all kind of spitballing right like we're all this isn't stuff they address even though it's the obvious questions that everyone would have I'm just glad it didn't really matter, to be honest. Even No Man's Sky set everything to ultra. This is meant to, at 1080p, your 3060 should be able to ultra these games that are kind of old now. Pretty easily. What kind of uh, frame rates are you getting in, Ogina? Hit double I, the crit for Azagol. Let's see if he chooses to drop a prox mine here. And he is going to drop the prox mine just in case. Probably think it doesn't hit. Rear though, first to move. Monitor is only 144. But are you getting that full thing? You're getting 144? Yeah, 144 is great. My so I have three screens. These two screens are 1440p on either side of me. 1440p 144. My main screen is a curved one with uh the way it is right now, it's set to be 165 hertz on DisplayPort on the gaming PC. And when I'm plugged in on my uh, main PC, the stream PC, this one, it's 144 through HDMI. That's the thing I hate most about rules changes, that they just throw these out and see what sticks and all the podcasters go online. Yeah. I wish we weren't, like in a rush to adopt this new shit before we know 
how often any of this shit goes on, but whatever. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Epion, they said don't use it, and then we're all like, fuck yeah, let's use it. And then I feel pressure to use it a little bit because people want to see the new rules. That's why I just let people pick what they want to play. Can't. You try to kill Greer here, or do you go into Tally? Gonna go into Tally. Oh, three hits. Is there an FPS counter through NVIDIA? There is, if you installed NVIDIA Experience. Oh, Tally. The green's coming through for Johnny yet again. Uh, if you go through NVIDIA Experience in the overlay, there's an FPS counter you can put in a corner. 2v2. Boba does get a reroll. Hit crit. Gosh, those dice. One reroll. And Boba evades. Yeah, people people really want to play the new stuff. And I mean, like, hey, we get to test out the new rules. So it's not like bad. It's just, we don't have the answers to these questions because, like, why wasn't, why wasn't ship abilities like Wedge part of the stream? Like, how does that not the exact first thing that comes up when you're like, we're making this a rule? What, like, if you're playtesting that rule and that isn't the first thing that comes up, like Wedge doesn't come up, you kidding me? Come on. Scorch, Wedge, Lulo. There's so much ship ability here that we... I mean, Kova? What about Kova? I know it's not adding because of a stress, but like... Do you get that extra die? Wait, yeah. It is kind of frustrating. That, you know, this game is 2.5 rules, and the next game is going to be 2.0 RPO. Which is, again, like, that's what the players want to play, so that's fine. I have no issue with that. Stress focus here for Bobo. It's actually using the bump rules pretty well. The one hard, Greer, fades. Focus boost. And it evades. Nice job. Not RPO, just 2.0 current rule set. So you're doing bids and shit? I don't miss bids at all. I hate bids. Tally, two hards. Could focus boost for a shot. Axel Prime. What a name. Love the name. Hill roll boost. That's interesting. Too low. The too hard. Yeah, building to two hundred is way fun. You know what? You know what it is, Axel. It's it's like a unique spelling of Axel, right? And then it reminds me of Transformers. I'm like, oh, Axel Prime, a Prime Axel. Don't mind bid with the negative rules. I don't like it. That's when Giver says, you need someone for game two? We got two, but if you want to hop in and talk with me, that could be fun. Want to hang out a little bit? Maybe talk about our LVO plants. All right, into Lulo. 4v3, two rerolls, and a focus. Needs to get a kill here. We'll reroll the blanks. Gotta spend. Spend guarantees the kill. That is a dead Lulo. Rolls two evades, but we'll take the death. But again, Lulo is a five. 
Oh, a blinded! A blinded! A blind! The, the hull breach that we said was a blank was not a blank. Because of the extra damage, she takes a blinded pilot and can't modify this four dice banger coming back. Nothing! Uh-oh! Is the game turning? Does the game go to Boba? One hit! Only one! Boba! Gets two re-rolls! Okay, well, Boba takes a thing, so... That's 60 points on the board. Hit crit from Greer. Boba with only one reroll now. Oh. Well. Never mind. Stunned pilot. Eighty-eight frames per second on Ultra No Man's Sky. That's for a game that's not a twitchy thing. That's really really good. Anything above 60 for a game that's not like a shooter where you have like super twitch shooting. Very nice. For like Halo, you might want to lower it down so you get your full 144 because that improves your reactions and uh, latency. But other than that, pretty nice. Bobby says, man, I'm late, but Johnny, let's go. Well, I gotta tell you, the, uh, the evade dice have come in pretty clutch for Johnny here. There's been a couple shots where we're like, oof, this should be a kill. Johnny's also flown really well. He's disengaged. That is like a discipline thing that I don't have. He has disengaged a lot to regroup and get good shots. Yep, the tyranny of free agility. Boost for Greer. Boba, one bank left and will focus. Like it's for distress, takes focus. He's gotten two prockets off. Uh, Tally, I think, is procketed and Zizi's procketed. Greer, I think, still has the procket. Zizi coming in, coming in hot. Well, focus boost. Three V three double modded from Boba. This could be an initiative kill. He really, really needs this. That is going to be two and oh, it stays blank. Focusing for two. Greer will have to spend to live. Does. Man, that is just, that's tough to swallow for Boba. Greer, range two back, 2v2. Or a crit. Boba takes it. The damage sensor ray, and that takes away the Boba boost. Oh, but I don't know. Hesigal has gotten some really good shots today, and it just hasn't worked out. The thing is, you can't really... There's no, like, faulting... Like, I think they've both flown really well. It's just the, uh, variance goes one way sometimes, goes the other other times. Johnny's first engagement, though. This game was turned on that first procket into Nim. Nim not getting to really play a huge role in this game a lot to do with this. Boba should really read his book. Oh no. 
I mean, you guys know what I would do. I'm straight off the board at this point. But I mean, listen, Ozagol, like, Nim was killed with like 60 minutes left. Like, it's taking this game to the brink. Easy three forward, and I assume focus boost. Oba, the first shot again, gonna try and take it, get that kill into Greer. 3v3. And it's just not, not happening. ZZ, 2v2. Optics for two. Oba takes one. And then I think Johnny Prockett is gonna get the Prockett off here. Oh no, he's not. That is not in Prockett range. 2v2 again. Hit crit. Boba needs double paint. And you knew it was gonna end like this. G G, congratulations to Johnny Prockett. Giving the A-Wings a beautiful, beautiful victory here. Making Nobby proud. You pay out the left side. 